Hey guys, Ben here for Giant Loop, and today I'm pretty excited to show you all of the camping gear I got into my round the world pannier. We're out here moto camping just off the Washington BDR, and so I thought, what a great opportunity to show you everything that I got in these bags. This bag is a Revelstoke. This is just tools, my first aid kit, and my tire changing kit, and my pronghorn strap. So there's no camping gear in here whatsoever. I got all my camping gear in the two round the world panniers. All told, these panniers have almost 100 liters of storage. I think the main compartment is 35 and then there's eight or nine on the front and back. So let me just show you what I've got inside this pannier, and uh, I think you'll be as surprised to see what comes out of it as I was to see what went into it. So it's a little dirty, we had a fun ride in. Out here camping with uh, McLovin Moto and Beards Bikes and Camping, so definitely check out their channels if you haven't. So this is just a helmet bag with some clothes in it and uh, my contact solutions in there. So this is my jet boil and my dinner. Let's take those out. Got a pronghorn strap to hold that closed. Here's the things that people are always surprised fit in one of these panniers. This is my Tusk compact camp chair, but this is the extra large version. So the other one's about the length of a loaf of bread. This is the length of a baguette. I like to use bread base measurements as much as possible. And then this is my little table, my folding table that I use while I'm camping to make coffee, make dinner, you know, uh, put my contact solution stuff on it when I take them in and out. So that's in there. And here's the real piece de resistance. It's French for big thing in the bottom of your bag. <laughs> this is my tent. This is my two man backpacking tent. This is a Kelty Gunnison 2. See, it fits in the bottom of the bag. Like, you don't, it's not, it's not diagonal. It fits totally in there. Hard to see but it is in there in the bottom of the bag. People always say I can get everything but my tent and my panniers and they end up strapping their tent to the outside. Not so with around the world panniers. They're pretty amazing. That's just half my gear. So let's look at the other side, what I got in there. And I'm a, I'm a notorious overpacker. Everyone who watches my videos or has ever watched me camp knows that. So yes, there's more stuff than we need in here for this trip. And also keep in mind that this is just the main compartment. So uh, in here, I've got big uh, McLovin sunflower seeds. This is, there's two dry bags, one on the back of each of these. And then up here, I've got my thermocell. My point is they're not very full. I'm not really using these extra, you know, 16 liters per side. That got real dusty. My thermocell's in there. So here's what's in the other side of the round the world. These things have a bunch of cool features too. There's a magnet here. So it it's definitely closes right where it's supposed to be. That's a cool feature I like. And there's Velcro on the inside of this flap so that it closes when you start to roll it up. But in this side, I have, this is just my possibles pouch with toilet paper, my coffee stuff, my headlamp, my little lamp that goes in my tent, just a bunch of random camping items. Normally my fire starter and stuff would be in here, but fire season is in full swing, so there'll be no fires tonight. Uh, my full sleeping bag is in this side. This is a Diamond Park 15, Big Agnes. And this is, one of the dry pods actually out of my coyote bags. But, and in here I have a sleeping pad, pillow, and other essential items that if you're over the age of 21, you're allowed to enjoy. Um, extra fuel for my stove. Got some jerky in there. So that is my complete setup. It's all over the place now. For this overnight trip, uh, you could do a multi-day trip with this setup. And just, again, that's just in the two panniers. So this is all camera gear in my Fandango bag, and this is all tools in the Revelstoke. So just in the panniers, I got everything I need for tonight to be comfortable. I probably have more than I need. Um, there's some extra just sort of luxuries in here too. So I didn't appreciate until I got these bags how cavernous they truly are. You can just fit so much stuff in here. They're great bags. They've worked out really well. McLovin and I both run them. Just really versatile, quick release, come right off your bike, and you can get a ton of stuff in them. So if you have any questions about the round the world panniers, please feel free to leave a comment. Do you like how your bike turns into a table whenever you're camping? I do, it always turns into a table. So this is McLovin Moto, who you might know from, his YouTube is McLovin Moto and he runs the round the worlds also. What do you think of your round the worlds, man? They're a great set of bags. They've got tons of room. Uh, I tend to bring everything but the kitchen sink and so it's nice to have the extra room for all the stuff I wanna bring. Uh, I've got a lot of the same things that uh, Dork just mentioned. The table, the chair, all the gear I need, including the adult beverages. They're great. If you're looking for a sleeker alternative and you need less storage, 
Beards, bikes, and camping here is running. The Giant Loop Moto Trek pannier is also a great option. Yeah, the Moto Treks are 25 liters a side. Yeah, the possibles pouches, you end up getting almost 35 a side. It's great setup. Not sure what's best for your bike or what luggage will work great for the type of riding that you do? Please feel free to give us a call or send us an email and we'll help you find the setup that makes the most sense for you and your riding needs. Also, please consider subscribing to the channel for more product overviews, installation videos, and other great content. And don't forget that YouTube subscribers get 10% off at giantloopmoto.com with promo code subscriber. Thanks for watching. Go light, go fast, go far with Giant Loop.